Chris here with the Pipo W3F. This is the uh, N22 score, which is uh, 34,185, which isn't a bad score at all for this tablet, considering it is running the slower Atom with a maximum clock speed of 1.8 GHz, unlike the Ticlast X98 Air 3G or the Honda V919, which runs at uh, 2.1. Three. This is of course running a lower resolution screen so that does help. So I'll just go quickly look at the details here and hopefully that's going to come out. The reflection off the screen is pretty bad. I do apologize for that. So that's the score there. And I'll just run a couple of games. The ROM itself is a, you know, really, really quick, really fast because it's got absolutely no bloat on or anything like that. So it's pretty good. So let's just try um, Brothers in Arms 3. Just to mention that the speaker output from this tablet so at the top there is actually some of the best speakers I've heard on these Chinese tablets. Although not that loud, it has actually got a bit of mid-range and a hint of bass there, which is rare. Hopefully I can just actually get into the game. So it wasn't actually on maximum volume, so it's not the loudest, but the sound is quite clear. Come on, come on, come on. I just paused the video there to skip ahead. So hopefully I can get into, this, into some actual gameplay here. So it seems to be running fine. I'm not really used to playing these touch games, so I'm pretty uh, pretty bad at it. <laughs> that seems easy enough. First mission anyway, so. Let's have a quick move around there. So yeah, it seems to be running that fine. There doesn't seem to be any like lag or stutter or anything. So gaming or well, these kinds of games at this level of detail seems to be fine at this resolution anyway for the tablet to handle. There's a bit of fire there, so I wonder if I get a bit of lag looking at that. Now I'm gonna do take out the tank. Alright, so I, the home button for Windows also works for Android. And I don't think there are any images in the gallery. No, just my screenshot I took before. Okay. So the ROM, yeah, it's really good. As I mentioned, it's, it's basically uh, completely bloat free. The cameras are working, uh, rotation all works fine. Everything seems to be really good. Seems to be a good. 
Android ROM. I'm quite happy with the ROM because it's just very stock, which is great. And it does seem fast enough. Uh, sounds a bit heavy, so it always does a little bit of a stutter and a lag in the beginning because it's got a lot of images there. And I'll just see if I can load up like YouTube. Let me look at some videos or something. See how that works. Okay, and just whatever is here. Okay, so yeah, video works like that, that's fine. Uh, just for the hell of it, just run uh, bbc.com and see how that loads. Haven't loaded this before, so it's not cached or anything like that, so there we go, that's loaded in. Uh, yeah, okay. That seems to be quite fast, that's good. Yeah, so Internet Exploring is fast. Play Store is working. And you can put Nova Launcher or whatever launcher on, on there that you like, so that's not an issue. If you like Nova Launcher, if you like Apex Launcher, then it's all there. And yeah, your Play Store is all working as well, so that's good. Nice ROM. Uh, there's one thing though, when you click to turn it off, holding the power button, it says to boot to Windows. It doesn't actually boot into Windows, it just boots into the dual boot menu, which I'll just show you before I end the video. Oh, you can see that screen is super reflective. It doesn't help that I've got the protective cover thing still on there. So there is Android there, click onto Windows, and now Windows will start to load. Tiny little button there that says sure instead of start, which is quite funny. Alright, so that is the the Peepo W3F. Just a little look at Android. Thanks for watching the video. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe for more videos.